one of the challenges of designing websites for small business owners, for musicians, for artists, for nonprofit organizations is to translate the passion from the person to the screen. And uh, that's really how they got as far as they've gotten so far without a new website or a new marketing campaign or some bright new guy that they've just hired who can solve all their problems. It's been the passion of the founder. The times that they have found success are the times that they've found people who think like they think, buy into their message and want to be a part of what they do moving forward. And the challenge in doing this in just words and pictures that people read and look at is overcome with the Volvidi because we're in a, a generation now where the attention span is unfortunately shorter than ever. You know, we, we don't get the message in three minutes. We're going to flip the page and look at a more interesting message. Video has turned into the medium that really delivers that and through decades and decades of listening to songs that are an average of three minutes long on the radio, I think there's been some, some other pretty strong programming that's, that's gotten us to that, that three minute attention span. So the Volvidi gives us an opportunity to gather the essence of a message, add some visuals and compress it into three minutes and do our best to capture the passion because it's, it's a tone of voice more than it's the words that that voice spoke. Well, the challenge of making a promotional video, or to, to its extreme end, a, an infomercial or a TV commercial, is you've got three elements. You've got a video, you've got a person, and you've got an explanation of the services that they're trying to sell or promote. There are so many elements of a video that have to be observed and controlled, fixed in many cases. If there's a sudden noise in the background, or a sudden visual distraction in the background, or the person who's making their point in such an impassioned, perfect way, so suddenly darts their eyes off to one side for no explainable reason, pulls everything out of context, then suddenly you've got an editing issue because the bullet strayed right at the wrong moment. And that's the problem with video. And then the fact that it's a person, most people are barely comfortable in front of a, a camera that's going to be capturing them for a thousandth of a second. But you put them in front of a video that's a constant roll with every little gesture and facial expression and bad lighting angle. And finally, if you're really going to say exactly what you want to say and rehearse it and plan it and write it out and read it through and do it again and again, you're talking hours. Translate that to days or weeks of either preparation or procrastination and suddenly something that can be done in 15 minutes takes 15 days, 15 weeks or never. never.